Hello guys, welcome to watch WebGrounder tutorial. WebGrounder is a web server of PowerShell scripts. It enables you to execute a script remotely from your browser or any other program that supports current web services. In this uh, screencast, we will be learning how to execute a command on Web Commander. This is the index page of Web Commander where we can find more than 100 commands. Each command does a specific job, such as uh, upgrading ESX server to a certain build or uh, deploying a Windows virtual machine. If you feel it's hard to locate a specific command from the index page, you can filter them by categories listed here in this menu bar. For instance, if I click, as I mentioned earlier, uh, each command on Web Commander is a PowerShell script. If you click the link here, you can view the soft code of this uh, PowerShell script. And the command page is divided into two parts. The top part is a table of parameters that will be uh, passed into the PowerShell script. The left column lists the parameter names, and the middle column is for you to input or select the parameter values, and the right column provides the uh, help messages. The bottom part is for displaying the execution result and output of the command. If you are not familiar with the purpose of this uh, script, you can click the question mark here to read from the command description. Okay, let's go on to execute it. In this example, I will simply uh, run, the, run two commands in my test virtual machine to list the path and content of the current folder. can click the run button to execute it. Please note that I didn't input anything for server user because I need to use the default value. Okay, here we get the result and the output of the command execution. Uh, we also get the execution time here. On the top right corner, uh, the four digit number is the return code of this command. 4488 refers to success. All other values are referred to fail. If you click on the return code, you can get a full list of defined return codes uh, on that commander here in this page. By default, uh, the command result only depends on the exit code of the remote script. Which means uh, if the remote script exit code is zero, this command is considered as a success, otherwise it's a fail. Uh, besides this exit code uh, checkpoint, we can also add some uh, verification point against the output of the remote command. Here we get uh, four operators, like and not like, uh, for certain strings with the belt card. Match and not match are for certain uh, regular expression patterns. In this example, I simply uh, input desktop, which means the output must contain a screen desktop. Okay, let me input the password again and execute it. You see, a uh, remote checkpoint is added and it's a success. We can also uh, export this command as a URL, like that. And we can trigger the execution of this command again by copying and pasting this URL into the address bar of your browser and click enter.
so they get the same result. Uh, and we can also trigger the execution from uh, any other program that supports current web services, like uh, this. This is a PowerShell command that we will use the invoke library request dash URA and uh, attach the URL we got from the page. And uh, we will store the output of the command into a uh, variable R. And we can get the output. We can display the output uh, by typing dollar r dot content. As you can see, the content is purely uh, XML, which means the content could be uh, easily parsed and consumed by the triggering program. Okay, that's it. We uh, have learned how to execute a command on web commander by both browser and other and a PowerShell script. Thanks for watching. See you next time.